Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today is Stitch Fix Day. I got a Stitch Fix and I skipped out on July just because I've been getting so many awesome things through ThreadUp that I thought I could skip out. But I went ahead and requested a Jessica Alba Kate Hudson Mom Fix. So I'm super excited to see what they sent. And I also requested a brand new stylus. I requested the same stylus that Christine Roselle here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. She does great Stitch Fix unboxing. So I went ahead and requested her stylus because she gets awesome, awesome things through Stitch Fix. So let's see if I got her. So I am going to sneak at the card real quick. They always send you your invoice and a little card from your stylus. I'm going to sneak and see who the stylus was. So yes, it is Sharon. I am so excited. So I requested her and I got her. So I have some jewelry and a bundle. So here is my bundle. Oh my gosh. Polka dots. Y'all know I love polka dots. Oh my gosh. I'm excited for this fix. And some jewelry. So let's bust in and see what we got. So I'm going to open the burrito first. And I told her I needed some distressed, um, what? Some distressed... I can't even think guys right now. <laughs> so she sent me some skinny jeans. So these are really cute. So look how cute these are. And I told her to make it on a budget. And I told her I'm like a busy mom. I need things on the go. This is the Vagos Blair Distress Skinny Jean. And it says navy. But yeah, those are super cute. They look like the ones I have, but they look kind of tiny, guys. This summer, I have eaten like a pig. So I know I've gained a couple of pounds. So we will see if those bad boys work out. Next thing she sent is polka dots. And is this, a, is this a dress? This is so stinking cute. Yeah, this is a polka dot dress, guys. Look how stinking adorable that is. And it's in like this soft, lightweight fabric. It doesn't feel dressy at all. So you could dress this up or dress this down. This is the Gilly Haven Textured Knit Dress. Now, I didn't tell her to send me any dresses, but I did tell her I liked polka dots. So that is really cute. Next thing she sent me was, and this was on my Pinterest board, so I appreciate her putting this on there. This is the Lily Daria Woven Back Knit Top. And I wanna say that my friend Beth here on YouTube, I think she got this and tried it on in one of her unboxings, and that's why I pinned it. But it's got a high low there, guys. Y'all see that? Super cute, and I don't know if it's gonna be too big or not. I might have to size down, we will see. But I told her I needed some cute things like this to pair um, for stuff in my closet for the weekends. And this was also on my Pinterest board as well, I'm pretty sure. Super cute, look at that print, guys. And it's got like a crochet detail and it's got like the keyhole back with the little button. Very, very lightweight for where we live, it's super hot. This is the Spade and Heart Lindsay Yoke Detail Top in mint. That is stinking cute. I'm really loving that. So I can't wait to try that on. So that is all the clothing items that Sharon sent me. But she did send me some jewelry. And here's a little box. And she, oh my gosh, man. This is the first time she styled me and I already love Sharon. I told her that I am obsessed with feathers and she sent me this awesome feather statement piece, guys. Look how adorable this is. That is stinking adorable. And it's got like the little balls on there, the little ball chain. So pretty. I know I'm already keeping this because this is this statement piece I got from Stitch Fix, the Chevron necklace. I wear it all the time. Yeah, that's definitely staying with me before I even try that on. So I like to try these pieces on first and then I look at the invoice at the end. So I don't have the invoice sway my judgment, but I did ask her to um, put everything on a budget. So let's read the card that she sent me since she's my new stylist. It says, hi, Nicole, thank you for requesting me to have you as your stylist. I'm sorry to see that your birthday fix was such a disappointment. Yeah, it kind of was. I hope to get to know your style better and continue a fun relationship. I took some time to study your Pinterest board and previous feedback to get back on track with your shipments. Be sure to keep, us pin keep up the pinning and specific notes as you requested. I found you a fantastic pair of jeans. The Vigoss paired is a distress without being too destroyed and does not have a frayed or re um, released hem. Man, she definitely did go back and look at my stuff because that's all things I've put in my notes before. So she is very thorough, guys. Y'all have to request Sharon if you are not happy with your stylus. Wear them with the Lily's top and your white Converse or try them with the cotton spade and heart top. The Romolo feather necklace and gladiator sandals to create two pulled together casual mom weekend outfits. 
Both of these tops are pieces that you pinned. I look forward to reading your feedback. Enjoy sharing. So yeah, she definitely looked at my Pinterest board, definitely went back and read my feedback. She mentioned Converse. She mentioned the distress, not being too distressed. I've mentioned that many times before. So very, very detailed. So I super appreciate that. So here is the styling cards. And y'all can see that dress. You can make it casual or dressy for work. And man, polka dots and feathers are my jam. So she is like getting to my heartstrings already before I even try anything on. So let's get to trying this stuff on, guys, and see what we think about it. All right, y'all. She's got me hooked with this polka dot ghillie dress. I mean, she read my feedback and my stuff in my profile and knows that I love polka dots and guys look how adorable this little dress is I mean so stinking cute it fits me like a glove and I just love polka dots I think it's so cute it would be cute with like some bold colored maybe some red sandals or a pump I mean I don't wear pumps but I think it's just so cute the detail on it this textured knit is very lightweight it would also be cute with like maybe a little belt or something. I just think it's really cute, perfect for work. I could even wear this on the weekend with the boys, you know, if I wanted to, if we were going somewhere and I needed to be a little bit more dressier. But yeah, she really got me on this one. I cannot send this back. And I know it's probably gonna be pricey because it's by Gilly, but it's just so stinking cute. And I think it's very, very flattering on me. So. Sharon, so far, one for one. Next thing is the Lily top, the contrast back top, and the skinny jeans. And I think this is going to be a five for five box, because so far I'm loving everything. And this is the top, and excuse the black bra with it, I didn't feel like changing bras. This is the top that is, you know, has the plain stripes in the front, and then it's got the cute floral pattern in the back, and it's got the high-low, which I think is really really cute guys and I thought I might need to size down in this but I kind of like it a little bit oversized um, like this with these skinny jeans especially so I'm gonna take you down to see the jeans and yeah here's the jeans and I like the distressing that it is not too much like she was saying and I think they look pretty darn good I mean they're comfortable they're very stretchy um, and just what you want you know with having the kids on the go, you know, bending down, squatting down. Yeah, so I've got uh, two Row House boys, like I was saying, and this would be great. They're stretchy, has a lot of give to them. Y'all let me know what you think about this shirt. If I should size down, it might be just a little bit too big. I might need to go down to a small, but I think the oversized look is the point, especially when you're wearing a skinny jean. So yeah, I'm really loving this outfit. Like she said, this would be paired perfect with a pair of Converse. And I think that would just be so stinking cute. So, so excited about what she has sent so far. Next thing, guys, is this embroidered top. And I want to love it, but it is so see-through. And I'm not wearing a camisole under a tank top. I just think that's stupid. But it's, as you can see, guys, and I hope I'm not flashing y'all, but it is super, super see-through, even with a white bra. You can see everything. And it is big in the armholes, too. Um, but... If it wasn't for that, I would definitely keep it. I love this crochet top right here, and I love the way it looks in the back, and I love it with these skinny jeans, but I think I might have to pass on this one just because it is so freaking sheer, but I might keep everything and sell it on the Facebook board, so we'll have to see, but I wish it wasn't so sheer right here because this would be mine. So the last thing I have is this necklace right here. And I think it is so cute and I'm definitely keeping it because I needed another statement piece along with the one that I bought from Stitch Fix before. I will say that this one is not as heavy quality as the other one, but it is so pretty and y'all know I love feathers, so definitely keeping this guy if I'm not keeping anything else. But this was an awesome fix. So let's look at this price sheet. I'm scared because I like a lot, I like everything pretty much except for that sheer top. Okay, so this is not bad at all. So the Gilly Textured Knit Dress, which I suspected, this is $64. <sighs> Way more than I want to spend on a dress, but if I'm buying the whole box, it makes sense. Um, the Spade and Heart Lindsay Yoke Detail Top, the one that was super sheer, this one is $42. I did have this one pinned, but I did not realize that it was so super sheer, or I would not have pinned that, but I love everything else about it. The Lily Woven Back Knit Top was $44. Still debating on if I need to size down on this guy, so I gotta think about that. Those of this Vigos Blair Distress Skinny Jeans, which I absolutely love these jeans, they are $68, so that is not terrible for a pair of jeans. I mean, sometimes with Stitch Fix jeans, they're like $88 plus. So the ones that I bought before were like $48. This is not bad as far as jeans and my price point. And this uh, necklace is $28. So my subtotal is $246. Um, the buy five discount is $62. 
The styling credit that's getting credited is $20 and I had a $55 credit because I had $5 before that I didn't use and then I had $50 from people using my referral link. So thank you so much for using those referral links because it does help me um, on my total. So my total after everything is $108 for the whole box and that's for a pair of jeans, for a dress, for two tops and for a necklace, yes. So I'm definitely keeping the whole box. And I might sell this guy on the Facebook boards because I can't see myself wearing a cami under this to justify wearing it. We'll see. <laughs> I really like the detail on the on the top of it and I think it's really pretty. I did pin this, so I was hoping I got this in my box. Just wish this maybe was lined or was not as sheer as it was. But everything else, guys, I really liked and I'm so happy that I got Sharon. So thank you so much, Christine Roselle, for um, giving me her full name so I was able to request her as a stylist. And if y'all wanna request Sharon too, y'all let me know and I will give you her name because she has put a lot of thought into this fix, very detailed. Going back and looking at my back fixes and my feedback. So thank you so much, Sharon, for that because I so appreciate it because my last probably five fixes have not felt personalized at all. So I had to change something up or I was just getting rid of Stitch Fix altogether. So, so glad that I got a great stylist and it has got me back in the Stitch Fix mode. So give this video a thumbs up if you love Stitch Fix unboxings and let me know what your favorite thing was that I unboxed and tried on and maybe something I need to size down or send back. Um, I really appreciate all the feedback that you always leave me in the comments below. And hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already because I do thread up unboxings, stitch fixes. I'm probably doing a stitch fix every other month now instead of every month because I have so much clothes I'm getting from thread up and now from stitch fix. And I would love to have you a part of the YouTube family here. And until next time with another stitch fix unboxing, y'all have a great week, great weekend. Love you guys so much. Bye.